Today's video is in honor of my dad because today I'm going to be talking about the Frank. <laughs> really this whole theme week is dedicated and inspired by him because he's a numismatist, a career you've probably never heard of, but it exists. It's someone who studies or collects coins and currency and it's a pretty neat job, especially if you're into history. Between my dad's interest in coins and history and my mom's fierce journalistic skills, they've both inspired me this month to bring you the most interesting videos I could for Element a Day in May this year. So I hope you've enjoyed the playlist so far. So the Frank, not Frank like the American name, rather Frank with a C, a type of French currency used before the Euro. I have here a one franc coin from 1977 engraved by Louis Oscar Rodi. The front shows this lady on it called La Samuse, or the Sower, a peasant lady who represents the national emblem of the French Republic. But what seeds does this lady sow, you may ask? The publication La Liberté talked about the Sower in 1898 and clarified this. They wrote, these seeds that she generously sows are the innumerable ideas that will germinate one day when we are no longer here. It's kind of nice. Okay, side note, before I even knew who this was on the front of the Frank, I thought she looked a little bit like the Statue of Liberty, but not, and found out that in 1896, the artist actually updated the sewer to don the Phrygian cap of Liberty. But Our Lady Liberty is not wearing the same cap, but their clothes sort of do look alike, and she was a gift from the French, Lady Liberty, and they both represent Liberty. On the back of the Frank, are the words liberté, égalité, fraternité, meaning liberty, equality, and fraternity, or brotherhood. And there's also a little olive branch on there, traditionally a symbol of peace. The franc is made out of nickel. And I could have also talked about the US nickel today, which is also made out of nickel, with an engraving of Thomas Jefferson and his house on the back. Not as whimsical as the symbolism on the franc, though. And since I am on a fictitious pirate ship, I feel inclined to travel the world a bit. So France today and tomorrow, let's continue our journey and sail up to England to take a look at the British penny or pence and maybe back across the Atlantic for the American penny too. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll catch you then. Element a day in